Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Aquarians and it's for November and a little bit over 2024. It's everything you need to know my dear Aquarius from every area of your life. Welcome my dear viewers, let us see what you need to know, what are important factors and thank you all for being here. Starting with the first message, glasses on and we have the storyteller. This is all about viewpoints. It's about viewpoints and about control. So you've got to be very alert when someone's talking and telling you their opinion or their viewpoint because maybe in the process of that they are trying to control um, something um, that they want to control. So pay attention to their viewpoint because they'll be using uh, stories and examples and their views and in that process they want to have some control over you. So keep your eyes open. The next one for all Aquarians, we have the king. And the king is all about, again, control. Someone really wants to control you. You've got to be very careful. It says control, reversal of fortune. You could lose money because of this control. So be very, very alert. Someone wants to control you and they they are going to be the cause of you losing big amounts of money or your fortune or your luck or your work or where you're source of income is so pay attention big time this is very important my dear Aquarius now for some of you you could be um, um, trying to do a situation deal with a situation and maybe some of you are thinking of starting a new business where there's storytelling and there could be loss of money you've just got to be very careful and try to control situations of course the more we find out the more we'll know what else needs to be known let's have a look at two more messages for all aquarians we'll get to the bottom of it right let go let go of what no longer serves you let go of the past and um, you are going to be transcending to high levels once you do let go of what no longer works or what doesn't serve your highest good. It says miracles are going to be pouring in, and that is great news. A lot of success and a lot of miracles are on their way for you, my dear Aquarius. So that's great news. Absolutely wonderful news. Let's take two more messages from another deck for you, my dear Aquarius. Let's have a look for November onwards. Okay, so we have a new beginning, a new passion ignites, a new beginning. Some of you could be starting a new love life with someone wonderful, expanding your love life might, you know, um, ascend to high levels. Some of you could be starting a new business or a new project that might bring you wealth and abundance and expansion. So whatever it may be, sounds incredible. You just got to be careful of control. That's all. Don't let anyone control you. The next one. And the next one is about your, one of your wishes being granted. The star is all about all this wish being granted. A lot of loving and nurturing power around you, supporting you in every way. So that is great news. You are supported, which is wonderful. And that's why we do these readings. Even in this reading is letting you know so that you are aware uh, that somebody's trying to control you. But you are protected and miracles are going to be pouring in. So, and to let go of what no longer works, or somebody's trying to control you, let go. The next message for all Aquarians, we have accelerated motion. This is the Eight of Wands. You need to take advantage of a situation very quickly, because it's going to resolve a problem, and you have a great opportunity. Like, for example, there might be, if you're thinking of traveling, or spending quality time with a lover or a friend, by traveling, and you see there's a, a, a very special price, the tickets go low for some reason, there's discount. So take advantage of it, because... You'll resolve your travel issues. You will find an um, uh, economical way to go. And also you will be taking advantage because you might be spending quality time with your lover. I mean, that's I'm not very good with examples. Just an example. This could be much bigger than that. But what I'm saying is that take advantage of the situation and act quickly because there's going to be a, a, pro, um, a resolution, a key resolution, and also a, a great opportunity. The next one for Aquarians. Okay, the waiting time is over, the two pentacles, where you've been torn between two situations, two situations, whether you should or you shouldn't, it's all changing, it's all happening for you, this is the time, the waiting time is over, it's going to work, and it's going to work to your advantage. Let's have a look at four more messages for all Aquarians for November. Uh, sorry, what do I say? Yeah, November over. Um, we have freedom, the fool. You are going to be set free. You are going to be feeling so happy, so free. Free from cares and worries. Freedom to the highest level. Great news. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles, paying attention to detail. Very important focus. This could be to do with work or purchasing um, uh, any items or dealing with money or calculations so there won't be any mistakes. 
pay attention uh, so that you're not signing documents, contracts, read everything properly, especially with control so that you don't give your control over to someone, especially when we're talking about Aquarius. Aquarius, you've got to be very careful because Aquarius tend to sometimes trust and believe because they're honest and straightforward they believe in people and you've got to be very careful so that you don't trust someone and give them the power of attorney you've just got to be very careful or the right to your money the emperor you are going to be given the power and the control over your life which is great and an offer could be there for you one that you can't refuse so power and glory which is going to be yours travel some of you could be traveling some of you could be taking action where you were not able before now you can so that's great news and that's the end of this pile. Uh, what you don't see happening is the lovers. You are going to be dealing with someone beautiful. A great soul, a wonderful lover, a soul is going to be... Um, you are going to be meeting someone wonderful or you could be collaborating with your lover or perhaps you have to be making decisions uh, according to lover. But also remember, the lovers can be about decision making uh, when it comes to control. You've got to be very, very alert. Okay. Now... Now, my dear viewers, we will move on to the next level, which is more information. Let's have a look. We need three more messages for all Aquarians. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles, which shows a lot of money is coming your way, and this is going to be very supportive because you'll be able to support others. So you are going to be in very strong capacity. So that's great news. And the next one shows there are going to be celebrations. You are going to celebrate something magnificent that's happening. Could be part of your wish come true. Could be something even more than that. Could be the travels or the go-ahead that you're able to go ahead now where you were not able before. So that's really wonderful. And finally, it says you should have left some time ago a situation, but you didn't. You were procrastinating maybe because... You didn't want to leave someone behind, but now you are able to go. You will finally have the right to go. And while you're going, you're leaving the past behind you. And once you leave the past behind you, there is going to be a lot of money coming your way. A lot of money is impacting your life on a grand scale. So that's that one there. Now let's move on to the next level. And the next level is just finding out some more information before we clarify. There's a lot of money here. I can see that. And this is what you could be celebrating. This new beginning, I feel like this new beginning is bringing you a lot of money. And this is why you are celebrating a new beginning that's going to be expanding your money and making you um, really wealthy to the point where you'll be able to su support other people, help other people. I really feel like, you know, those who are in need, because this is really big, this amount of money, this new beginning that's expanding. Um, and this card of wealth here, it just shows that there is a lot of money. Uh, possible it also shows the miracles now don't forget miracles pouring into your life that too on its own is spectacular miracles is spectacular coming into your life that is truly big that is major with miracles so everything is looking really wonderful i feel like there's going to be a lot to celebrate and a lot to be grateful for there's gratitude in everything here so um yes back to this um back to this section here now, uh, like, like I was saying, two messages for all Aquarians, November. And we've got the feather, abundance, easy money. There we go. You see that? Abundance, easy money. Divine intervention in your, love, uh, in your money life. I feel like they're intervening, and that's why you've got all this wealth coming, you see? Abundance, wealth, divine intervention. This is incredible. With the feather, there's just so much to be grateful for, so much abundance coming your way, and... Um, it looks like it will be easy doing light work. Some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be just uh, being undecided and don't know what to do yet because you'll have so much money you might not want to work. So there is something wonderful like that happening. Uh, as soon as you leave the past behind you and move forward, something incredible is taking place. But you've got to let go. And look at that, money coming in, wealth. Look at that, money coming in and wealth. So this is about really good investment or could be like wealth coming in to the highest degree. This is big money. Again, I will say it over and over and over. Big amounts of money, a lot of it, that you are going to be so happy and celebrate, celebrating this amount. I don't know where it's coming. It could be a windfall. It could be because you've got the, you've got the um, fool also, which means freedom. 
from cares and worries, no debts and no problems. So big money is coming in, wealth is coming in, and you've got the card of wealth, empowerment, having power with the emperor, a lot of money, so play the lotto. Have a look at your money reading. Play the lot of all the lottery. A coffee cup's worth once a month. You don't have to be a gambler to do that. Just play small and you will see that abundance will be pouring in. Now, yes, now that we go to the other level. Let's see what else you need to know. Okay, so the card has come up. It says, um, getting to know each other. As you, um, as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond is getting deeper and deeper. So the more you get to know each other, the more your bond is becoming deeper. That's beautiful. That's sitting right next to the lovers. And the next one says, heart to heart conversations. You are going to be um, honestly discussing what you feel with each other, and that is going to help your relationship also. So maybe that is helping you make the decisions that you are going to make. Maybe some of you are letting go of some issues that were a problem and then finally you are able to move forward and not worry about certain things and maybe celebrate what you are talking about and reaching to levels where you can celebrate. There may be celebrations in your outcome of your discussions. So um, you might be letting go of issues from the past or any, any situation that needs to be let go of. So you might be leaving that. Okay, now we go and see what else is there. Is there any message for all Aquarians? Uh, for November, it says, let those um, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it only allows and gives. Very important to let your lover to have freedom. Never take away their freedom, because ultimately when you do that, even if it doesn't show at the beginning, but you end up losing each other and losing interest in each other when you do um, not give them their freedom. Freedom is very important. Now, let's move on to what is what and what's going on. Let's have a look at the past, letting go of the past. Oh, my God. We don't need these. There are too many. Uh, the Six of Cups, letting go of the past. Dreams come true. Wishes come true after the past, after you let go of the past. It says a little bit of patience, and you are going to get a lot of your wishes. You remember the star? This is the wish card. This and your wishes now together. So it does look to me that... There is going to be an incredible, incredible outcome here. Really wonderful because the star gives you your wishes and dreams and there's so much to celebrate. So money coming in, celebrations and one of your wishes, um, the oldest one being granted. Absolutely granted. Wow. Yes, wishes. So, uh, my dear... Aquarius, I'll leave that here, over here. Right, let's have a look at the Ace of Wands, this beginning. Let's see what is it all about. So letting go of the past and uh, as soon as you do, wishes are going to be granted. Now we've got the Eight here, the one that I was talking about, accelerated motion. You need to act quickly, take advantage of a situation to resolve a problem and get a great opportunity. This has come up twice for you to pay attention. It, this intensifies the magnitude of this uh, message that you do need to pay attention because you are going to be um, in a position where you can resolve a problem and take advantage of a great opportunity. A lot of revelations are going to be with it to support you make that right decision. A lot of revelations with the moon, seeing your path, knowing where you're heading, what's going on. Everything is going to be made clear for you. So prepare for that. Now there is uh, the Ace of Wands. I'll have a look at this new beginning that is bringing you a lot of happiness. And it shows, it puts an end to sleepless nights, worry, guilt. You're fighting for your rights, especially when somebody's challenging you. This is about control. Don't let anyone control you. Somebody's trying to control your life. I feel like you're fighting for your rights and you're not allowing, you're setting boundaries and how much this person can control you. It could be a family member that's very controlling. But you are saying goodbye to control. You're taking the high road. You will not accept anyone to challenge your authority. You're setting boundaries and saying no, and sleepless nights are over. And this gives you this beautiful new beginning, my dear um, Aquarius, um, a beautiful new beginning where a lot of your wishes could be granted and you could be dealing with someone magnificent and maybe you're fighting your rights in regard to this person. So wishes and dreams come true, um, a beautiful love, love life, um, a lot of abundance coming in, in your way, 
a new beginning, a new passion ignites and it just spreads and it becomes bigger and bigger and someone incredible entering your life or someone you are going to be closer to fighting in regard to but you've got to be careful, don't let anything control you so that you are always ahead in everything you do. So there is a lot to be uh, grateful for, there's a lot to be happy here for, there is so much going on and I feel like this is going to be spectacular. This is going to be incredible. This uh, magic that I see here starting, for some of you it's a new beginning where it ignites and it just becomes magnificent. With the money there, it just helps you move forward and forward and forward. That's what's coming. Now, happiness is coming also. A lot of happiness and wishes and dreams come true. I'll take that and put that. One more challenge and this is gonna, you're going to be reaching there. Let's have a look at the Eight of Wands and see what is this action you need to take. What is this opportunity here? Yeah. Seven of Cups. It's a great opportunity. It comes after an ending, a major chapter ending. Then you've got the great opportunity of love, of emotion, something wonderful. So take advantage of it. It's going to be great. One more challenge and then you'll get all this. Wow. I've been saying this for the past few months like non-stop. It's just been so much. It's incredible. Okay. So now we move on to the next level. And we've got, uh, let's talk about this empowerment of money. The Both of these together. The six of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Wealth and being able to support others for all Aquarians. What is this all about? It's about the wheel of fortune and wealth. Wow. How direct and to the point. How direct and to the point. The ten of wands. Ten of wealth again and again. And again, and again, money coming in, wealth, wealth, and lots of wealth. So much money is coming in. One more challenge, end of a painful chapter, and destiny intervenes and brings you luck and abundance coming your way, my dear Aquarius. You will be amazed at the transformations that your life is going to take and take you to the next level. Not to mention a soulmate is coming at the same time. Now let's have a look at the, um, the fool and freedom that comes from the full it shows that you are very much rewarded you're opening your mind you're becoming flexible you're opening your mind to moving some of you are thinking of moving expanding ultimately there is uh, that again where you have to pay attention to detail in case you're traveling in case you're starting a new business is, is in case you're expanding uh, putting money into things or right, uh, dealing with money and contracts, be careful and pay attention so you don't make any mistakes. You are going to be free again. There is going to be a partnership for some of you. It might be a soulmate partnership or love partnership. could be either one because you've got the lovers, but you keep getting this one too. And the Two of Cups is about a soulmate. So that's incredible. Now let's have a look at the next one, the Emperor. Let's see what the Emperor is all about for all Aquarians. You are empowered to take action now. You can go. You can travel. You will be in control of your journey. Just like I said with this, you're taking, um, a fight. you're taking a stand and saying no. No, you won't let anyone control you. And remember, both of these were about control. Telling your stories and how you shouldn't do this and how that is over. You are setting your boundaries and you are winning. You're fighting and you're winning. And you are able to go. You're taking action and moving forward. And... Um, I feel like there is someone of air energy that might be on your side or you might be fighting to go to this air energy like yourself. There could be Aquarius like you, similar to you, or they could have Libra or Gemini in them. So that's very good. Excellent. There is a proposal or a proposition coming at a time when you are taking this action. Let's have a look at the two of pentacles where you're torn between whether you should or not. It says this is all about this, right? It is in connection to someone like yourself, someone like Aquarius like you or Gemini or Libra, I feel like it's Aquarius, and I feel like you are going to be making a decision about lovers, you see this is a lover's card, again, twice, it shows that you are going to make a decision, and the decision maybe, uh, maybe is about where to live, should you be here or here, should you, I mean, it could be, you know, there, there could be distance between you, you could be traveling uh, to see each other, it might be costing, you might be thinking about living in separate uh, places from family maybe but there is a decision calling without a doubt and um, where you're torn and not sure money is going to resolve this problem and a great proposal will come or proposition that is going to help you make that decision now let's have a look at your um, wish card is your wish going to be part of this support yes money 
money is going to put an end to battles and disagreements. You are going to be empowered to move forward without any hesitation. Your uh, oldest wish is going to give you that. And I feel like someone is going to be very supportive. Uh, someone of earth energy. Very supportive. And fire energy. There are two. These two people are going to be uh, very much supporting you. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus and Sagittarius, Leo, Aries but I feel like the strongest one here is Aquarius for you, someone like yourself or Libra or Gemini, air energy more stronger than these two but you are going to have these people's support they are supporting you, now that we've established all that, I want to go now to the next level and the next level is finding out the star sign combination of the people you are consumed with dealing with November and who they are, ok we've got Taurus Taurus will be the one controlling. Then we've got Capricorn for all Aquarians. Capricorn is the Earth, could be the one that's supportive. Let's have a look. Well, it could be this one too. This Taurus could be supportive also. It's possible. All Aquarians. Yeah, because Taurus always supports. And then we've got Sagittarius, fire. This is the fire energy we were talking about. This is the Earth energy, Taurus or Capricorn, either one. And we want to see the Aquarius. Remember, we said there is someone like yourself. Okay, we got Aries, fire again. We got the Sun, Leo, fire again. We got the Sun, so there is someone, Leo, very strong Leo. And we got Sagittarius twice. Sagittarius twice, Leo twice. There's very strong fire energy here. Let's see what else. For all Aquarians in November we got Aries again so they're all double the fire energy are doubled is there anything else yeah I have a feeling there's one or two more um, there's cancer water energy and there is Neptune water energy okay so I can't see the air energy but there is someone like yourself could be Aquarius what I'm seeing here is that you do have support you have great support especially from fire energy there's earth actually number one support is earth Taurus and Capricorn this is the, the power, the strength that gives you the strength for you to be able to move forward. Sometimes these people can be controlling. So they could be parents controlling you and saying, oh, you know, you can't do this and don't do that and it's not good to do that. But ultimately, I feel like foundations are these. These are foundations. These are people that really care about you. Sometimes they might sound controlling because they want the best for you. And, and when you are determined to do something, nobody can stop you by the Aquarius. So you don't have to worry. Then we have water energy. There is someone that could be Cancer or Pisces that you might be not doing quite well with. This could be an ending of a chapter because water doesn't go well with air at all. But you've got something wonderful here, which is fire. Fire energy, very strong. Leo. Sagittarius and Aries this is someone wonderful that's starting your life entering your life or this person might be already in your life there could be air energy with fire in them and that gives them gives you that flair that excitement that connection that is going to be spectacular and just thriving more and more and more and the more you get closer the more it becomes incredible for you so fire energy either Sagittarius or Leo or Aries all are very nurturing, very uh, loyal and wonderful, except the Aries can be sometimes a bit impulsive. Otherwise, you've got two very uh, nurturing because um, Aries are known for loyalty, but they're also governed by uh, Mars, which makes them a little bit irritable and impulsive. Where Leo and Sagittarius are very, very nurturing and you will love that. You do get connected to Aries. There's that fire that brings that passion together. So if you are with air, with fire, yes, there will be a blaze of excitement. And then you've got, um, I think you might be leaving behind a water energy, Pisces or Cancer, or maybe this could be someone that you might be very close to. Uh, I do feel like there is something that's ending and you're moving. A chapter is ending and moving to the best level. You should have left it some time ago, especially if you were with someone that was water energy like Cancer Pisces or even Aries together. It wouldn't have worked because of the water. Water doesn't work. The earth and fire go beautiful together. Aries, this fire goes beautiful with you. I'm just saying in case it was with water, Cancer especially, it would have been uh, someone that was very uncomfortable and constant battle within, not quite happy. Uh, I do feel like the earth is going to be someone more stability for you. And also, if it's someone of air energy like yourself, uh, there will be um, 
a lot of earth in them and fire and that is going to give you the glory of expansion and thriving together and wanting to be together and be uh, in a separate uh, place together i feel like if it's a business and you're in partnership it's going to be wonderful i didn't take out too much cards but i do feel like there is an aquarius or libra or gemini involved we've got two air energies twice so i feel like you are dealing with someone like yourself and i feel like the earth is going to give you the groundness that you truly need but you've got to let go with uh, let go of what no longer works and remember there is letting go and there is abundance coming your way and your wishes and dreams established so that's very important for you my dear aquarius remember that and it's with this i wish you all the best and hope you enjoyed this reading let me know feedback give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to watch the video all the way to the end and support me and please subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free it takes a click of the mouse and it means a lot to me i wish you all the best in everything you're doing especially if you're traveling and starting something new i wish you the best of the best all the blessings always namaste